see. Hey, what's the weather of the Texas Frisco? In Dallas, Texas, the temperature is quite high at 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Stay cool out there. Could you open the notepad and put the conversation to there? I've added our conversation to a notepad for you. Very cool. Okay, thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Hey guys, in this video, I will show you the demo I created with C Sharp. This also is the OpenAI API uh, demo. Uh, you guys may already know I created the demo with the Python, with the, uh, Swift, Java, and um, Android. So I have been doing the development for um, almost 20 years. So I, most of the language I know a little bit. That's why I can create uh, uh, this demo with a different language. Uh, if you are guys interested with different language, you can take a look at my uh, other videos. Uh, let's start with the, the, the C sharp one. Let's just focus on the C sharp one. So I created the WPF demo. It's a WPF one. So I have a button over here. Once I click this button, it will uh, initialize the hardware, initialize the uh, microphone, the speaker. Also, there are some like uh, uh, volume uh, effects. If this is for that one, there is a um, pop up is get enlarge or get a shrink when you during your talking. So that's for that one. So you don't need to take care about this one. Don't worry about this one. Uh, just uh, look into the uh, important one. This one is for collect the open AI. So once the we click that button, we will connect to the um, OpenAI. We will create the um, WebSocket connection. This is how we connect the WebSocket uh, connection. This is credential. You need to set up the uh, API key. You could put your API key to your uh, local environment, uh, in, uh, yeah, environment, local uh, variable, something like that. So I click to the WebSocket. Once I click that, I just put drop a message there. It's connected. So this is how we connect to the uh, channel. Once the channel we connect to the OpenAI, uh, we will this one. Um, let me show you this one. Um, we set up the speaker. So you don't need to worry about this one. Just set up a speaker. Make the speaker ready. Uh, this one is about the. Uh, the uh, microphone, just set up the microphone. Um, once we collect any message or collect any data from your microphone, we send that to the OpenAI. You cannot send that directly to the OpenAI. You need to pack the, you need to um, create the JSON object. So once you get any audio uh, data, we just uh, uh, drop this to the uh, JSON object and send it back to the OpenAI API. Uh, OpenAI mm, WebSocket. Okay. So this is how we start the audio. So audio just uh, collect the data and send it to the OpenAI. That's it. Uh, let's start with this one. This one we will all set up the Mm. Once we receive the message, uh, here is the dead loop. This, this dead loop will just uh, keep receive message from this uh, socket, this uh, uh, web socket. So once we receive this message from the OpenAI, uh, we will process that. Uh, here is the how we process that. Here is based on the OpenAI. Um, op now real-time API protocol, it will give some message like this one, like a created, updated, uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, you could take a look at the OpenAI uh, documentation. They have a very detailed description for this thing. I have not yet implemented all of them, but I plan to do that. I plan to implement, implement all of them and uh, create a SDK, create a, a component. So you're 
the for the dot .NET developer, they could just drop the uh, object over here, and then everything should work. and And specify the key, then put some events, put some code in the event, then it should work. I will. I plan to do that. I will uh, let you know once I have the SDK ready, so you don't need to get to understand each one. Okay, let's go back to here. So once OpenAI sent the created uh, event, I will send the update uh, parameter to the OpenAI. I need to update my uh, system system prompt. So this is my system prompt. This is my voice. Uh, all kind of parameter over here. Uh, I will need to talk about uh, this one. This one is some is, is very important. This one basically um, let Open AI know. Uh, you need to decide uh, if the if I trying to if the user trying to um, stop the conversation or trying to terminate the current conversation, start a new ob uh, subject. So you need to specify this one. Once you specify this one, OpenAI know oh you are trying to stop the conversation. You are trying to start a new uh, topic, so it will uh, send you oh you are trying to do that. So you can uh, make some decision. You can clear your uh, cache uh, based on the uh, response. Uh, I will show you next one. I will show you more detail for this one later. Um, another one you need to concern about is uh, uh, tools, which is the function call. So I set up two function. One is get weather. Another one is uh, open the notepad. So you can write anything, any command uh, if you want over here. So I will show you how to define this one, how to open the notepad. Uh, I think that is for update session. So just the update some configuration for the OpenAI. Uh, next one. Uh, so about the once update, once we get the update, we just uh, start uh, recording. Uh, this one uh, is what I'm talking about. So OpenAI, no, you are trying to interrupt. It will send back. If you are trying to interrupt, it will send something back to. Uh, front end say oh you are trying to uh, uh, interrupt so once you say that you get that you could uh, clear your uh, cache your buffer because uh, may there may be some previous uh, um, answer previous audio uh, data still in your uh, memory so in this case since you are trying to uh, Trying to um, interrupt the uh, conversation, so you need to uh, clear your current uh, um, buffer immediately. This way, you don't have any delay. Otherwise, um, it may still trying to play some old answer from the previous uh, topic. Okay, so this for the uh, so this one is very important. This for the interrupt. Uh, this one just uh, when the uh, uh, current uh, topic done, current uh, session done, just uh, add the message to your uh, window to the UI. I don't think that is very important, just for the test purpose. Uh, once it's stopped, once it's stopped, once the current, uh, um, if your current uh, uh, session stopped, that mean we need a. Uh, have everything in our memory get played. Otherwise, you need to wait another topic get done. So that is why I add this one. I just uh, if uh, open and say okay, uh, I already answered your question. So I just uh, play what I have in my memory. Otherwise, there may be something not get played uh, until you get some new uh, topic uh, start. So mm, this one is uh, this one is also very important. This one is once you got some new uh, data from the OpenAI. This is for the Delta audio. Once you just uh, process that, just uh, play that. Drop uh, right now. I just uh, drop to the uh, queue to the uh, buffer. So the um, 
speaker object will take care of that and play that. Uh, another one, we don't care about this one. Uh, this one is very important. This one is talk about the uh, uh, functioning call, function calling. So if OpenAI find out oh, this question, it calls some function. So it will let you know. Oh, you have something need to do the function call. So it will uh, give you this command. Once you got this command, you need to figure out which function uh, OpenAI trying to ask you call. So here is uh, uh, the way we figure out the we just uh, call, uh, check the name. If the name equal this one, we do the uh, get weather. If otherwise, we do uh, if this this one, we do uh, some uh, command. We do some just to uh, uh, open our Notepad application and put some content over there. Okay, so you can put as m many as you want. Um, function call over here. Uh, depend on at the very beginning, you define which one need to do the function call. Yeah. So this one we use the uh, we uh, open AI trying to uh, understand what function need to call or open AI need to figure out what function call need to, need to do, what method you need to want to call. So basic basically we take the uh, um, advantage of the open AI uh, take the advantage of open AI to understand what real developer want to implement, what real developer, developer want to uh, call. So this is how the mm, functioning call function call in the open AI. So mm, next one mm, here is the get weather we just uh, return a uh, weather. So you can you could uh, call another API to get the uh, weather data like could call the open weather API to get the weather. This one just to call your local resource uh, do your uh, do a local uh, command. So yeah, once we have this one, once the call get done, we just send the result back to the uh, OpenAI. So OpenAI know how to uh, organize the results and give your uh, response, give your uh, ideal response. So we don't need to care about like uh, how they know uh, where this result should put to the uh, statement. We don't need to care about that part. OpenAI will uh, understand and how to do that. So basically, then, like I mentioned, uh, OpenAI need to figure out which method you want to call and uh, figure out how to express the results once the uh, method get a call. Yeah. I think that uh, pretty much all for this one. So let's start. Okay. Okay, let's click speak. What's the weather in Texas Frisco? In Frisco, Texas, it's currently a scorching 99 degrees Celsius. Stay hydrated. Fight. Julie. What's the weather in Texas, Frisco? Currently in Frisco, Texas, it's pretty hot with a temperature of around 99 degrees Fahrenheit. Could you open the notepad and put the conversation over there? I've added our conversation to the notepad for you. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, thank you. Yeah, I think that pretty much all. Uh, as I mentioned, I may create the, I may um, polish this a little bit and create the SDK or the uh, component, WPF component, which will help the .NET developer easy to get this uh, uh, to use the OpenAI API. You only need to specify the uh, key and then 
you could uh, do whatever you want uh, i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you bye